What's up? I trust you are well. All Scant Twelve here sharing with you my 100 days of code challenges and we are now at day 6 exercise 2. This is just a continuation of our character named Reborg to reach the goal shown with a plug by avoiding obstructions or hurdles. But this time with the increase in difficulty. Here is the additional information about the hurdle race exercise second challenge for you to read. Once we are done reading the additional information and understand what we should be doing, let's get started with the coding. If you missed the first part, I highly suggest that you watch it first then come back to this exercise. So going back to the second challenge, we know what are the available commands we can use on Reborg's basic keyboard. Since there was no turn right command, we've created a turn right function definition and so as the jump function. We know from the previous exercise that this code will bring our character Reborgs to 13 1 coordinates. In this next challenge, we never know where is the plug. So this time, we will be using the while loops. Where do we need to use the for loop compared to while loops? Good question, as I also asked myself that while we were at the beginning of this topic. For loops is used when you have a definite iteration. The number of iteration is known. For instance, to iterate through a loop with definite range, for hurdle in range 6, with this code, we set and know that this command will run 6 times. It's gonna stop once it reaches the end of the range. While loops on the other hand is an indefinite iteration that is used when a loop repeats an unknown number of times and ends when some condition is met. While loop will continue to run for as long as the condition is true. Having said that, while loops are a little bit more dangerous than for loops. So if you have a condition that never will become false, for instance, 2 greater than 1, 2 will always be greater than 1 and will never return false. So your while loop becomes something known as infinite loop. This is something that in most cases you don't want to happen to your code. If this happens, don't worry. Force quit the program, restart and try to prevent this from happening in the future. Anyway, let's go back to Reborg's basic keyboard and check what's on the other tabs. Under conditions, we have these functions. Next, under Python, we have all this and we've used definition for in and range functions as you can see here. Next, we have objects. Maybe we will be using the objects in the next following exercises. And finally, under specials, we have these special characters. Alright, let's solve the challenge now using the while loop. Let's replace all this by while. Then what's the condition? At goal. And let's try to say equals false. We will tell our character Reborgs to jump. Let's try if this will work. We have an invalid syntax for our while loop. Let's review again the syntax for the while loop. So we have the while function, then space. A condition that is something true. Okay, let's analyze again the problem. Let's try another one to see if this will work. What about while at goal and shall we say not equals to true. Let's try if this will work.
I hope you find this video interesting. If you are new to my channel or are returning viewer who can still see that red subscribe button, why don't you click it now to show support to my YouTube video? I would highly recommend that you also click the notification bell so you will get notifications and won't miss out on my future video uploads. Have a great day and thank you for watching this far. God bless. Cheers.